welcome to my channel it's Catherine from Jane Catherine on books and at long last it's the review of Catherine's Cozy Crime and I'm sorry that this has uh, been late in the filming but you know as most of you know David's been in the hospital and we've been away and you know real life gets in the way sometimes so um, for those of you that um, have been following the last few months uh, the choice, the last choice was the herring in the library and this is by L.C. Tyler. I mean, lovely cover, really nice cover. Um, well, it'd be interesting to see what uh, those of you that read along thought of this. Um, this is in the Ethel Red and Elsie, couldn't think of her name then. Elsie and Ethel Red series of Cozy Crime. I mean, Ethel Red, what a name, goodness me. Anyway, Ethel Red is a... Um, crime writer not exactly um a star crime writer he sort of muddles along and he's got this very overbearing um publicist called elsie and um i don't know this uh, i think she seems to push her way into everything it's as if she wants some real life crime action to be happening so she can be pushing her way in i think she's a bit of a a, a, a closet uh, um, what do you call it detective what do you call it <laughs> not what do you call it it's all um um private detective really i you know i i, I think secretly she wants to give up her, her publishing days and be a private detective and just have uh, uh ethel red tagging along um and uh, i have to say that's what i feel like this book um, this series is very much uh, about I mean I read I got a set of three from the book people so I also read the herring sellers apprentice and herring on the Nile so I've read the book of three to see if I can get a better sense of these characters and I have to say they drive me crazy they're, they, they, they're just ridiculous sorry but they just felt ridiculous um, I think she's overbearing um, she's interfering and although she's got some um, guts about her, um, I don't know the pair of them together. This Ethelred is like a, a, a wet weekend. He, he needs a good shake up. He's, he's, he's sort of quite nondescript and he plods away, although he gets through the crime in his own quiet manner. Um, I just want to give him a, a swift kick, get him going. You know, he's, he's I don't know, he just wants to sorting out um and i think he needs his name changing for a start so um this particular one the herring in the library it was a closed um closed door series series book um closed door mystery where there's been a murder in the library they go to an event in a country house and there's been a murder in the library the door is locked and uh, no way supposedly for people to get in or out and how was the murder done um well it was a you know it was it was an okay read um it, it was a bit predictable in some respects um i think i was so cross with wanting to kick, kick ethel red and you know up the backside and getting going and and telling her to shut up once in a while that I think I lost the plot myself so um it was fine I I have to say that you know because this was a set of three I read them um I don't think I'm going to be continuing in the series it it it, it wasn't anything special unfortunately um nice bit of a cozy crime if you need a palate cleanser after you've read something really quite serious and taxing uh, but there's plenty of choices of cozy crimes. I love them. That's why I'm doing this series. So I don't think I'm going to waste waste my energy on reading any more of these. They were okay, but uh, the characters aren't for me, and I'd just spend all time grumbling at them and shouting under the bedclothes when I want to tell them what I think because they're annoying me. So <laughs> um, be nice to know what you thought. Be nice to think that somebody else thought similarly to me or if you really enjoyed it please let me know um lovely covers but no not going to continue with that series so here we are to the um 
Cozy Crime Choice for this month and this is Death at Whitewater, not Whitewater, Wentwater sorry, Wentwater Court and this is by Carola Dunn and it's a Daisy Dalrym Dalrymple, Dalrymple, why don't they sometimes give these series easy names to say? Dalrymple Mystery. Why couldn't they have just called a, called a Daisy Davis or something like that? A lot easier to say, Daisy Dalrymple. So um, this is the first in the, um, the series of, sometimes they call her Miss Daisy for short, so that'd be a lot easier to say. And I do believe that uh, Miss Daisy is a reporter. She's a freelance writer reporter and her husband is, uh, I think he's an inspector of police or something along those lines. And he works for Scotland Yard. And um, I think she's always wanting to get in on the act and See, aren't we, with these cosy crimes, there seems to be a bit of a pattern that we've got this main protagonist who's supposed to be the detective and then we seem to have got a sidekick who isn't a detective but seems to want to be a detective um, and take over. Um, I don't know if there's a bit of a theme. I'm going to keep an eye out for that because I wonder if that's something that's very common in, in some of these cosy crimes. Certainly was when we were talking about the last one with Ethel Red and... Mrs. Elsie. Um, so I think Scotland Yard are a bit frightened of uh, of uh, Miss Daisy because I think she, uh, you know, she goes blundering in there, and I think she's a bit uh, the the sense I get that she's a little bit forthright. So we'll see. Nice cover. Uh, got this while I was on holiday. Never never heard of Corolla Dunn. Um, she's uh, she's British born but li uh, lives in America, British American um, heritage and she's written many cosy crime series looking at her back catalogue so it'd be nice if this is going to be a good series and at last I've managed to get the first so we're starting at the very beginning so I'll just read you the, uh, the blurb about this. No stranger to sprawling country estates, society girl and aspiring journalist Daisy Dalrymple is heading for beautiful Wentwater Court to cover a story for Town and Country magazine. But the visit turns into an investigation when suave Lord Stephen Astwick, suave Lord Stephen Astwick, ooh, uh, meets a shockingly chilly end on the tranquil skating pond. <laughs> I probably fell through it. <laughs> fell through the ice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> with evidence that his death was anything but accidental, Daisy joins forces with Scotland Yard. Hopefully the cul culprit can't slip through their fingers as smoothly as the unfortunate Astwick slipped through the ice. <laughs> Sorry. Must be psychic. I honestly <laughs> I honestly did not read this blurb at all. I thought I wasn't sure what it was about. And I thought, I'll just read this to you. I know I'm going to be, uh, you know, I must have had foresight there because he did slip through the ice, apparently. Or did he? Was he pushed through the ice? <laughs> That's coincidental. Uh, yeah. I must be getting better at this. So please come along and join me. That's the book for Cozy Crime, Catherine's Cozy Crime for April and it's death at Wentwater Court. So, have a good time. Hope you can find this. Let me know what Cozy Crimes you're reading. Let me know if you're joining in. See you again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>